Hey Leo, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your summer solstice message. So we're gonna do the Moonology cards first. What do we have for Leo? Show me what Leo needs to know for the summer solstice. And we have full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. Well, I don't think that's usually an issue for Leo, but let's see what the book has to say. Full moon in Aquarius. Page 88. Okay. Eights definitely have significance to you. All right, this card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. So it also says, be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You are too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you. Be there for them. And a situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. So every full moon is a time to release and let go, but the addition of Aquarian energy to the mix triples that message. Aquarius is the opposite of clingy and pulling this card at any time suggests either you need to let go or someone is thinking they are the ones who need to let go, perhaps of you. What needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected. And we just went through the full moon in Sagittarius uh, last night. So um, I feel like the full moon in Aquarius will happen in Leo season, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I feel like this is in reference to that time frame. All right. So what else do we have for Leo? And we have discernment. So I feel like there was a lot of between this and that, between this and that, it even just talking about showing the world a real you, like, is it you that needs to let go of something or showing, are you being real? Are you showing your real self or not? And I feel like there's also this level of discernment that you need to have with how you're perceiving others. Like, you know, I feel like there's almost like in, intuitive hits that are telling you, one thing or the other and i feel like you need to discern whether that is the truth we also have inner knowing yeah so that's the whole point is there's discernment but there's also just that inner knowing and you don't have to prove to anybody if you have this inner knowing about a situation then trust it just trust it and see where that takes you Okay, well, let me shuffle these a little bit. We're going to see how this is playing out for you, Leo. These are the cutest cards ever. The Aff Affirmators Tarot. I love these cards. All right, so show me what the recent past energy was for Leo. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you have had this new opportunity. I like how they're showing the heart because I feel like this is in regard to a love relationship. And I feel like you have been holding back or showing kind of what you think the other person wants to see and saying the things that you think they want to hear. And I feel like you've had this opportunity or this new um, potential in a relationship. I feel like you need to use this discernment, show, show the world and this other person, the real you. And I think you have an inner knowing that this is either, it's going to be life changing either way. 
All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like this could definitely be you really focusing on your work and not necessarily on this um, relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what's the challenge here? And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like work. Work keeps coming into play. But this is also talking about working on yourself, becoming this King of Pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize the view was not quite right. Okay, so I feel like this is mastering, mastering a skill. But this is also really focused on work and mastering the skill. So that is your challenge right now. So it could be that you're losing focus in work. But it could also be that work is your total focus and you're not necessarily paying attention to your own discernment and inner knowing. All right. The advice from spirit is the Hierophant. So this is about really getting connected. Um, this could have to do with working on a marriage. If you're in a relationship already working on a marriage. But I feel like this is your spiritual connection, your faith, your understanding of the universe. What is the outcome here? And we have the Ace of Wands. Wow, two aces. So this is definitely something that is going to be an opportunity for um, inspiration, motivation, movement, action, um, spiritual connection. At the bottom of the deck, we have, wow, the Ten of Pentacles. So I definitely see a long-term commitment here with the Hierophant and with this Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely abundance and prosperity and long-term commitment at stake here. All right, so let's shuffle these up and then we will clarify. Show me that Ace of Pentacles in the recent past for Leo. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay, this is wedding bells all over it. So I feel like this is either you proposing or someone proposing to you. It doesn't have to be. It could be moving in together. It could be celebrating some type of landmark within your current relationship. This could also be talking about your birthday celebration um, when it comes time. Because you will be having your birthday during this summer season. All right, so what's this King of Pentacles about? And we have the Empress. Okay, so this is a really good pair here. The King of Pentacles and the Empress. So I feel like this is about luxury. This is about, about abundance, prosperity, support, <clears throat> birthing something new. So we have that right next to the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely something brand new, brand new stage of life. That's what I'm getting to. The Empress definitely shows the real, she would show the real you. Like you, this is the Empress, whether you're the Empress or this person you're connected to, but I feel like you're mirroring each other with this abundance. All right. Why is this Eight of Pentacles a challenge? And we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like, Something about work is like your own thoughts have killed things. So I feel like what you've been working on within yourself or your actual work job, I feel like your mind has gotten in the way and that is ending now. And that's where this discernment is going to start coming into play in this inner knowing. So why is this here a font? Here is the advice. And we have the three of pentacles, like rebuilding and building something solid and that can be revered. That's what I'm getting with that three of pentacles. All right. And that is on the Hierophant. So this is building a strong connection with God. And this is also building a strong long-term commitment. All right. So show me that ace of wands is the outcome. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, equal give and take. Very balanced energy. <clears throat> that inner knowing, that generosity of spirit. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify that Ten of Pentacles as the overall energy. 
What's the overall energy this Ten of Pentacles about? And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is definitely something that has the potential to grow into something really beautiful and long standing. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever you're holding on to, whatever you're blocking, let go of it. Release, be free, and show the world the real you. Okay, so let's get Sacred Sea Oracle. Those guidance. What guidance do we have for Leo? And we have Lemurian Sea Sanctuary, Remembrance. So I feel like Remembrance. This is not forgetting where you come from. But let's see what the book has to say. That's number seven. Okay. The Lemurian Sea Sanctuary is a sanctuary to honor the crystalline light bodies of the Lemurian teaching left behind in crystallized form. The vibrations of this sacred space are so high they sound like crystal bowls and angels singing, and the lightness of the energy is pure, innocent, and playful. This is the per perfect place to retreat to when you're feeling lost and downtrodden to revive your soul spirit essence and remember why you actually decided to come to earth in the first place. Access this powerful haven through the sacred sea rituals. So it says divine feminine return, remembering your soul spirit origin, paradise on earth, Lemurian memories, soul essence, soul's purpose, activation, and revival of your spirit. Know your soul. And I love that show the world the real you because to know thyself, I don't even know what the term is now, the phrase, know thyself. And I feel like that's inner knowing, that's showing the world the real you, that's discernment of what is what aligns with you. If you know yourself, then when you come across people or situations, you you know inside if that resonates or aligns with you or not. Wow, that's really beautiful. All right, so let's get some C melodies as advice. What advice do we have for Leo? And we have generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it for yourself? And we talked about that generosity of spirit right at the end of the reading there with that six of pentacles. We have turbulence. The mind is murky in rough waters. Yes. And that's why you're looking for discernment. This is about getting out of your head that ten of swords there. Stop overthinking. And we have stillness. In calm waters, everything becomes clear. And that has come out for quite a few signs. So I think both signs that I've done are, I've only done, this is only the third one. So um, I think it came out for both, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. In calm waters, everything becomes clear. The inner knowing, the discernment, the real you. All right, that is the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.